it's time to talk tyres. Hi, Tony here, welcome to the cave. And this week I want to talk to you briefly about a new set of tyres that have gone onto the Street Twin, namely the Continental Road Attack 3s. So this is the second set of aftermarket tyres I put on the bike after the Phantoms. Uh, I had some Pirelli Scorpion Trail 2s on there. They lasted me about 5,000 miles before the rear started to square off. Actually still plenty of tread on them, but I had the opportunity to uh, change the tyres and I thought I'd go for something a little bit different. So I went for these, the Conti Road Attack 3s. Before I give my opinion on the tyres, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking them through with you. These are a sport touring tyres. They are the latest generation of the very well-known Road Attack series from Continental. When I first looked at these tyres, Continental used an expression called multi-grip which led me to believe that these were a multi or dual compound tyre. In actual fact, they're made with a single compound, but during the process, different parts of the tyres are cured at different temperatures. So it gives you the, uh, the kind of effect of a, of a multi compound eye, softer on the side, harder wearing in the middle, but done from a single compound. Now that compound is actually optimized for wet roads and i have to say that these tires compared to the phantoms are streaks ahead in terms of wet weather confidence they grip really nicely we've had plenty of weather in the uk recently uh, to to test it out i've ridden these for uh probably five six hundred miles just to get an idea of what they're going to be like and I wanted to ride them in all sorts of conditions. Unfortunately being the UK I haven't been able to ride them in any warm weather uh, but I've ridden them in the rain, I've ridden them in roads that are from freezing up to four or five degrees and the grip works really really well. Now one of the most interesting parts of this tyre uh, is something that I found very useful and that's what Continental call a traction skin. During a normal tyre process, the tyres will have a release agent that's put in uh, to enable them to come out of the moulds very easily. It's that release agent which is slippery and that's what requires you to scrub tyres in and anybody that's gone and tried to spank a new set of tyres will realise just how slippy they can be. The difference with these tyres is they're moulded with kind of a micro rough surface. It's hard to see now because I've been riding them for a bit but it's it's got this kind of rough finish on it and that rough finish enables these tyres to come out of the mould without any release agent. So that means that you put them on and there's virtually no scrubbing in to be done. So I guess the big question is, what do they like to ride with? Well, I really like them. They're a sport touring tyre. I spend most of my time around the country lanes and on country roads. And this is really what these tyres were designed for. They come in the stock sizes, so you don't have to mess around with the sizes. You can have a 150-70 on the rear and a 190 on the front, same as the stock tyres. I did notice though that the front tyre may be a slightly lower profile. The gap between the tyre and the wheel arch seemed to be just very slightly bigger. And that may be because I'd gone from the Scorpion Trail 2s, which obviously are a bit of a chunkier dual sport tyre. These Conti Road Attack 3s stick like the proverbial to a blanket. I haven't had the benefit of riding them in warm weather, but judging from the grip that I pick up from these in wet and cold weather, when the roads are bone dry and the sun is shining on your back, these can only get better. And there you have it, a single compound tire that works like a dual compound tire, uh, virtually no scrubbing in or breaking in because of that traction skin. They work really well in the wet, they work really well in the dry. Uh, I have to say I really do like these tyres and I'm pleased that I put them on the bike. Obviously if you want to go for that scrambler look they're not going to be as chunky as a dual sport or a knobbly. Uh, there you might want to look at some alternatives but if you spend most of your time on the road and you want a good looking tyre that's well constructed with no braking in that works exceptionally well and you want a big improvement over the stock Pirelli Phantoms then I can heartily recommend the Road Attack 3. I hope you found that video useful and as ever there'll be links in the top corner and the end credits for you to go away to other videos and all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and until next time take care ride safe and I'll see you soon.
Bye. Yeah.